Hi and welcome to this Novell Zenworks video. In this video we're going to talk about the imaging improvements we've made in 11SP3. These are the key feature enhancements that we've made. There are a few smaller items as well. But first, we've enabled support for UEFI, Secure Boot, and GPT. UEFI is the replacement for the traditional BIOS and is something that's gotten more and more popular with the introduction of Windows 8. Secure Boot is also a Windows 8 driven capability. This allows for vendors to sign the actual operating system and the machine won't boot unless it has a pr an appropriate certificate. Uh, and then the GPT allows you to have many more partitions as well as much bigger partitions. With Zenworks 11 SP3 we can now image each of these. Second, we're introducing a boot imaging capability that allows you to create a USB boot disk and then possibly even put the image on it so that you can give your end users a single stick that they can carry around with them for recovery purposes. The third option or the third enhancement is we've improved the third-party imaging capabilities and introduced both support for 32-bit and 64-bit Windows PE environments. So we'll boot 32-bit on 32-bit hardware, 64-bit on 64-bit hardware. And we also have introduced the ability to do Windows PE scripting so that within the Windows PE environment you can perform scripted imaging tasks as well. The benefit of these new capabilities are number one, I can generally image new Windows 8 certified hardware now. The one exception to this is Atom hardware in some of the uh, lower end tablets are still using 32-bit UEFI. So you want to make sure that you're using Core i7, i5, i3 based devices if you want to use uh, Pixie based imaging for those devices. You can use Windows PE based imaging for those Atom type devices. We provide the USB key capability so that you can now boot into the environment, give the user the stick, and now they can recover themselves when they're on the road. And you can leverage the Windows PE imaging and capabilities as appropriate for your environment. Let's take a look at this. So we'll start with the USB capability. I'm using a virtual machine with a USB stick attached to it, and I've booted into the boot CD uh, that is downloadable from the Zenworks server. Once you're there, there is a new tool, the Zen USB Creator, that allows you to create the partition or the, the boots disk. To do this, you simply select Create Bootable USB for BIOS or for UEFI. You need a different one as the Linux environment boots differently for each. Select your USB stick that is attached and then tell it you're ready to wipe out that drive. At this point it will then format the disk and then put down the imaging boot environment onto the USB stick. You could then take and copy your image onto those USB sticks, possibly put a script out there that then says now go ahead and restore this image. So you now have a supported, easy way of quickly creating USB boot media for Zenworks. The second major feature that I can show you is the pre-boot imaging capabilities for WinPE imaging. So in previous versions there was this third-party image capability where we can use ImageX or Ghost to restore images. In addition to this, we received numerous feedback about being able to execute scripts inside of that Windows PE environment. So you'll notice that with this release, there is now a third-party script option. When you create this, you can then place a batch file, JScript file, VB script file, Windows script file, or HTML script into the script text. And on imaging boot, it will then go ahead and load the Windows PE environment, either the 32 or 64 bit version, download the PE environment and boot it, and then go ahead and execute whatever script is written in here 
this gives you a lot of flexibility in being able to control things in the Windows PE environment that you may want to do above and beyond imaging. So with the new imaging capabilities, you can now image all of those Windows 8 hardware devices you have. You can help users who don't connect to the network often or who are using newer tablet devices where there isn't a network card. They can use those USB devices to boot from. And you can leverage the Windows PE environment more for doing scripted imaging tasks. Thank you for joining me. This is Jason Blackett, the Zen Guru, signing off.